about me. I'm not done here. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, bye. You see? She has everything to do with this when my husband won't talk to me but run to his mother for everything. You are not going to disrespect my mother like that. <laughs> You don't have any idea what we have been through together. Jackson. Oh. Oh. You are here castigating me about how I consult my girls on everything. Yet you tell your mommy everything that happens between us. I know that she doesn't like me. And she probably will never like me. And to say the truth, um, I don't like her either. <laughs> but we don't get to choose our mothers in law, do we? <laughs> I know that she tells you day and night that I am wrong for you. And I you started to believe her. And that is why I cannot get through to you. No, Diana, you are not going to disrespect my mother like that. She's not the problem here. You are the problem with us. If only you would talk to me half as much, Jackson. If only you would share your life with me as you do with her. I'm done. I am done. I am done of this talk. I am done of this talk because it's, it is not taking us anywhere. I'm done. I'm done with the constant nagging, Diana. I am done. What do you mean you're done? <laughs> do you want a divorce then, Jackson? No. Answer me, Jackson. Do you want a divorce? Yes. Jackson! Jackson! You're back. Now I can finally leave. <laughs> Your little experiment was pointless. Before you leave, Mr. Tala, please have a seat. <laughs> Aren't you tired of lecturing us? I am not here to lecture you. I just have one more thing to share with the both of you. And then that's it. Please sit. <laughs> Mr. Tala, please have a seat. Mrs. Tala. <laughs> Make it quick then. <laughs> There are many types of marriage relationships, and all of them can work. But none is sadder than the one that does not represent peace in your heart. This is my advice to you both. Marriage has no trial period. God does not have a return policy on spouses, except in the case of adultery, which for you both, it has not come up. You cannot return a spouse like a shirt or a dress in exchange for something else. If you are married, honor your vows and stay married. How can I stay married? To him who won't allow me to express how I feel. 
Am I just supposed to ignore or, or wish away my troubles? How do I tell him that I get so bored at home? Alcoholic <laughs> who was sober for two years, but, but I relapsed because I had no one to talk to. We were supposed to be a team, Jackson. You were supposed to support my dreams like I did yours. Mr. Tala, the issue of feelings has come up quite a lot today. Your wife says that you avoid them by all means necessary. You yourself say that having feelings is ridiculous. So is there a particular reason why you do not want to connect with people emotionally? Is there a reason why you've closed yourself off from the world or rather from people who matter the most to you? It is his fault. It is all his fault. Whose fault is it, Mr. Tala? I did not quite get you. <laughs> Damn you, Dad. Damn you. This is all your fault. He always told me to be tough. If I ever got into a fight in school or at home, all my father cared about was whether I won or, or if I clenched my fist tight enough to deliver a resounding punch. If he, if he wasn't teaching me how to fight, then he was telling me stories of the many fights that he won while growing up. to shed a single tear or, or cry over anything at all. He told me, he told me over and over again that real men don't cry. Real men don't show their emotions. He never, never told me at any point in my life that he loved me. And so, so I never shed a single tear my own life. Or at least, at least not in front of him. I, I never, I never shed a single tear the day my father died. I knew he was looking down at me and, and I did not want to disappoint him. I did not cry the day he was buried. Who doesn't cry at their father's funeral? I never got a chance to tell my father that I loved him. 
now he's gone. <laughs> now he's gone. Damn you, Dad. Damn you. Damn you, Dad. Well, I am sure that you can tell him now, wherever he is, I'm pretty sure I can hear you. I love you and I miss you. Tell me about your drinking problem. <laughs> I could have helped you, Diana. I really, really wanted to tell you, but you didn't give me the chance to. Oh, I'm very sorry. I am, I am very sorry, Diana. I am sorry. But surely right now, I am sorry for everything I said to you earlier. Everything I said about you, I am sorry. As a matter of fact, right now, I don't care whether you have OCD, ADD, BCC, or whichever insane condition there is out there. Sorry. Diana. <laughs> Diana Tala. I. <laughs> I, 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 I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you too, Jackson. May I forgive you because you matter so much to me and because you are worth it and because I love you and I am not going anywhere. <laughs> I think, um, I think she is more than you bargained for. But oftentimes when the world gives you more than you bargained for, you usually end up glad that you got it. The game of life is rigged. <laughs> and love, love always wins. <laughs> of every experience and relationship that they have ever been through. <laughs> Some experiences may have bettered your man, while others may have battered him. The man sitting next to you is as a result of a lifetime of experience. <laughs> hey, I am very sorry I'm late. Oh, uh, Dad. <coughs> but then I, I decided to stop by and say hi, but, but you are not in. Wait, wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> Forgive my manners. Mm. I am 
I'm Dr. Ambrose, your marriage counselor. And uh, this is my 20 year old daughter, who is uh, at the university uh, studying uh, animal, animal health. <laughs> Meet you to uh, stay 